What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today on this particular Ava series we are going to be doing King Pin from Daredevil and obviously from Spider-Man as well. Guys, if you want to see what the thumbnail looks like, or this actual build, sorry, the thumbnail is on screen now. Let's have a look at that now. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing as well. Quite a large build, obviously, because it is a large character. Uh, instead of the sort of nine long on each other foot, it's actually 11 on this one. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with the build. So, I'm going to be running out the colors we're going to be using for this build. We're going to be using black, using a purple wall. You can use a different variation of purple if you want. You can even use a clay if you entirely wanted to. We're going to be using a wool. Some we're going to refer it to probably as white wool during this episode. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, we obviously have our yellow wall, just a little bit of this, you're only going to need about mm, 6 blocks of this in total And then obviously our white stain clay for the skin, so let's crack on with the build So as always guys, never build anything on the floor, because it just looks pretty naffy, so don't do that so Let's build up a little bit more higher, like so, probably about there And you just want to start in block, like so, I'm going to take all the rest of these ones out as well, because we don't need those so you want a line of 11 in total, it's a set of 9, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which would be a standard one there, but we're going to go 10, 11, like so. And the same thing on the other side as well, we're going to breach it across with 3, 1, 2, 3, so as you can see, that's our left foot, and this is going to be our right foot, so again, another yellow, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like so. So we've got two lines of 11 and that's what they should look like there we go so two lines of 11 like that and after that we're just going to make it another row high again so another just add another 11 on top so just come all the way up the top and over like so and the same thing on this side as well there we go after you've done that we're going to come in one on either side like so we do exactly the same thing as well in one so we're going to miss one and come in one then we're going to come up invisible stair set one into the build exactly the same thing on the other side as well very symmetrical this build it's quite chunky as well so it's a lot of it's just filling in one more as well to come up an extra two high in total so again one in again and make sure there's two high so up one invisible stair set add an extra one to make it two high then we're going to come invisible stair set one we're going to add a purple and then we're just going to put approximately six black along from here so we're going to come one two three and then one, two, three, like so. I'm just going to put another purple in the middle there, and we should come along again with another six, as you can tell. One, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it should be the X the same again, which it is on the other side as well. Very symmetrical throughout this build. So let's do the middle part of this trousers so with groin. We're going to come up one from the inner bits here to make a line of three, and then we're going to come invisible stair set in one and same thing on the other side and then we're just going to breach across with another one up the top like so so you want a pattern that looks like that after you've done that and pretty much looks exactly like that what we're going to do now is just fill the rest of that in so let's do that together so let's just fill that in if you've done those steps also as well guys if you do get stuck in any part of my tutorials make sure to go back and have a look at them whenever you can also as well as sort of uh, superheroes or other things like that 8-bit characters go and check out the playlist there are a ton of things to look at on that playlist or just generally if you're looking for tutorial builds then uh, go and check out that one as well because there's actually did the top 2015 builds to uh, do this year and uh, that's a video on the channel as well so let's crack on with doing the arms now. So the arms are pretty easy to differentiate them from. We're going to use the blocks on the left and the right over here. So we we'll start from the left one and we'll probably come up, just come up three in total. One, two, three, and then come one to the left here. It's just a gradual start to make the other side of the hand. We're going to come up an extra three on top of that. One, two, three, so six in total. Then we're just going to go an L like so, exactly like that. Let's do the exactly the same thing on the other side as well. From the purple coming out from the build, we're going to come one, two, three up. One to the right, as facing towards the contemplating or the contradictory shoe that it is. So on the right, it will come out to the right, and on the left, as you can tell, it's coming out to the left. So after that, we're going to add another three. One, two, three. And then make an L on top of that, like so. So there we go. Should be very symmetrical. If not, you've probably balls it up. Probably like I have just now, yeah, that's true. Because it needs to be one, two, three, then an L, yep. Struggling to do this as well, it's pretty easy. Just uh, add three on top and then make your L like so. There we go. And probably did exactly the same thing on the other side as well. One, two, three, like so. There we go. Okay, so pretty much easy. All you need to do is follow the three white stain clay. If you haven't placed those, place those. And they're going to come along an extra four in total. So five in total as a line. So three, four, five. And the same thing that side as well. And just connect those up. 
like so. Same thing on this side as well. To add an extra four to make five until two, three, four. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. Make sure they connect. And there we go. That's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is running a black line underneath the hands. Exactly the same thing on the other side as well. A black line all the way underneath. Then we're going to run it on the sides as well. Make sure they don't connect on this particular bit because uh, otherwise it will just look really weird. So don't do this. Don't connect it around like so. We're going to do that just to take, make sure you take that one out as well so you have something that looks like this. After that we're going to follow the L here, the black, we're just going to run along all the way to the edge with four purple and then another one, two, three, black on top, same thing on this side as well. One, two, three, four in total with the purple and then one, two, three with your black. And then after that we can just start doing a little bit of detailing on the chest and then we're going to build the head to the shoulders and then after that it's just a mass filler of white but we do the black as it is. Here. So you want to come up six high from the purple in the middle, two, three, four, five, six in total. Then we're going to come one invisible cess up to the right. Then I'm going to put one more on top of that and then one to the left like so. So it's an upside down L like that. And you can just put the middle block there with your white like so. So after you've done that, then we're going to switch to our yellow and we're going to place a full block on top of that black, upside down black L like so. And then we're going to put some black on the sides here. So two black on the right and two black on the left. On top of the yellow, we're going to put two purple. And then after that, we're just going to put a black sort of a... Well, actually, we're going to put two yellows on the side of the purple as well. Like so. The pattern looks like that. And after that, we're just going to come one either side and just build all the way up over. This should connect now like that. And that's pretty much it. That is his suit slash jawline to connect to his head. All we need to do now is add a little bit of detailing so we can switch to our white now and come to the upside down L or underneath the four block and come out two to the right, one, two, add two purple as a little cravat or a little sort of a V that you have in your suit like so. After that we're going to just make some random black dots however that you want so for me I'm going to miss a line so I'm going to come a line here then I'm going to come one about here, come two high, one, two for suit buttons and then another black like so. So let's finish off the rest of the build and let's fill the rest of it in. So from either hand, so we're going to come in up one, two, and we another invisible stair set up to one, and then we're going to come up another one invisible stair set coming in now to two, and the same thing again, exactly the same thing but up and in another two. Then we're just going to make an L on top, so next layer, it's going to be an L like so. So you should have a pattern, looks like that, so as you can tell, two up from the original one up another one but coming into another one coming into and then up another one to make an l like so for that you can actually just come all the way down with stair sense just to connect to the sort of a v bit of the, of the top of the suit like so we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side pan slightly different we're going to come up one two invisible stair set one invisible stair set one more but it's going to come two into the build like so one more again but this one is going to be four in in total like so and one invisible set it down to connect to that V. So that side should look something like that. So as you can tell here, two, one, two in, up, another one, four along, one just to connect to the V like the same. So the rest of the whole entire bit in here, you can actually just fill in with the white. So uh, we're going to crack on with that. We're going to do it together because a lot of people say that uh, they actually watch the full video and just watch half of it and say, oh, you, you didn't do it, you cheated, blah, 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 all this other schmuck. So let's do it together. For the people of that so let's just carry on filling out if you want to just you know skip a little bit forward then uh you can but we're just going to fill this in so let's fill it in together <coughs> there we go oh no i hate when that happens so yeah guys i'm thinking about making another minecraft series in the beginning of the year not too sure what it's going to be obviously going to be doing some more builds and some more obviously standard pixel arts but yeah i've got to do all of those And we get one side filled in. Come up here and do this side now. And there we go, almost done there now. Apologies for the loud clicking as well that you can hear.
And there we go. Something that looks like that. After that, we've done that now. We're actually just going to focus on doing the head. Let's crack on that, so switch back to black. Now, from the L up here, we're going to add an extra five blocks in total. So, one, two, three, four, five, like so. Let me go back to the other side as well. Find the middle of that four block. It will come in one from the right. So, miss one, one from the right. So, again, another L. And we're just going to create this in a bit first. So, we're going to go white stained clay, two white a black and uh, three white stained clay like so and then we can just follow that black line all the way up till it meets, it meets the top of the line like so and then we're going to come one invisible stair set two invisible stair set three invisible stair set we're going to leave that for the time being make sure these are the same heights we're just going to breach this across if it is which it is awesome same thing on the side as well we're going to come two invisible stair set up one Two and the third one is going to be all the way along to connect to the other line, like so. That's pretty much his head done. So let's do the filling of the rest of his face in. So again, let's work from this two white. I'm going to put two black on the left of those two white, and then underneath it's going to be another white. I'm going to put a white stained clay next to it. One coming towards the left. A two white wall, like so. I'm going to put a white stained clay. On top of the white stained clay, we're going to come two white. One, two. And then on top of that we're going to come black, on top of the two white, black to the right, and then we're going to make a four block underneath that, like so, which should connect onto those two, it looks something like that. We're obviously going to do the bottom half here, which is mouth, underneath the white we're going to go one, two, three, along with black, and that's pretty much it. What we need to do now is fill it in with the white stained clay, so let's fill that in now. Filling it in. And there we have it guys, there is Kingpin. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit me up with that like and that comment. But until the next one guys, kill a here and Get to give out.